Ja, guten Abend, so, good evening. Very warm welcome to the press conference, the post-match press conference after the last 16 first leg with Leipzig losing against Liverpool 0-2. Here with us, Julian Nagel Nagelsmann, please give us a short summary. Well, I was very happy with the first 10 minutes. We played great pressing, won a lot of balls and created the first uh, pretty great chance uh, hitting the post with Olmo. Then Angel had another chance as well. And then, um, yeah, ran behind the ball, I have to say. Didn't attack in the right moment. Didn't uh, yeah press so well as in the be beginning. Pete had a good save in between, but uh, didn't concede that much. Liverpool, I can say, yeah, had more ball possession than and especially building up and opening the game. They were very flexible, not too dangerous, but I think uh, we didn't play so well towards the end of the first half then. And in the second half, I think we created a lot of chances, top chances even, but uh, just missed the goal. And uh, we just uh, yeah missed the target. We played good pressing. And it took us two or three minutes after the two big mistakes that we committed, which uh, yeah we were punished by at such a high level. That's normal. That happens. So it was five, six minutes. It was difficult to find back into the match after those mistakes. Uh, we're happy not to concede the third goal, but then we tried yeah to make up, created a couple of chances, had a top chance. Um, in the very minute, in the very last minute. And um, yeah, this was the big difference of today. The they scored on their two occasions and we had three chances, big chances, and just missed it, missed them and weren't clinical enough, just missing the goal. So the result, everybody knows about it. But I think despite that, we showed a good performance. Um, and yes, the condition, of course, is not very easy for us ahead of the second leg, but it's not impossible. We will give our everything and still try to make it into the next round. Thank you, Julian. So please, your questions. James Cooper, please. Julian, hi, I hope you can hear me. Yes. Um, I imagine there's a lot of frustration there, but you created an awful lot of good chances. And if you cut the mistakes out, how much confidence have you got that you can go and get back into this time, maybe even win it in Liverpool? I think we we did well uh, over all the 90 minutes. Uh, as you mentioned, we uh, created a lot of big chances and at the end you have to score. I think that's... Uh, the big difference uh, today, uh, Liverpool created one big chance in the first half and um, uh, two chances when they um, uh, shoot the goals after two big mistakes uh, of my team. But at the end, I think we have the bigger chances and uh, it will be one of the most important topics uh, for the second game that we uh, score uh, when we create that many chances it's important to score and now we're we conceded two away goals it's not that easy uh two home goals for us and two away goals for liverpool and it's not that easy so we have to score in, in the second game and but um i think we earned respect today because we did it well um i think liverpool respect us before the game as well but now perhaps it's a bit bigger and at the end we have to be confident for the second game uh, we have no other solution than being confident and uh try to do our best in, in the second game and we try to win. Stefan Krause von der Bildzeitung bitte. Ja, wir haben dich gefunden, Stefan. Jetzt? Ja, wir hören dich. Wunderbar. Als Christoph von Kunku in der zweiten Halbzeit aufs Tor gegangen ist und sich im Ball so, hat. Stehen, und one on one you were not very happy there were five yellow cards you weren't aggressive enough you weren't man enough on the pitch today what do you think about that and the second question is do you think that you will 
yeah, maybe have to play somewhere else, not in Liverpool. What do you think about the travel restrictions and so on? Well, I didn't understand everything, but I don't think that we didn't show enough willingness today or physical power. We have uh, a lot of other qualities that we showed today. English teams are used to play very physical. Um, they look differently. Um, this is normal. This is known. But um, of course, we were yeah, stopped kind of very quickly with a lot of yellow cards. Uh, Liverpool didn't concede a lot of or didn't receive a lot of yellow cards, but we received them very fast. So we were yeah, hemmed a little bit, stopped a little bit because uh, you have to take care. But I think we were ready. They were uh, fit. They wanted to uh, achieve something, a good result here. I think we show good character on the pitch, good mentality. And I think if we look back in uh, in our match against Manchester, it was the same. We showed a good character, good mentality, and we didn't give up. So we will see when and where the second leg will take place. It's not in my hands, not my decision. Maybe it's again here. The stadium is great. The pitch is fantastic. So uh, this could be an idea yeah, if it can't take place in Liverpool. Good evening. Despite the two mistakes who led to the goals, but in first half especially, there were some uh, yeah, insecurities. You weren't so secure in building up. Um, was it due to the quality of Liverpool or nervousness? Or how do you explain this? Well, of course, uh, our opponent uh, showed a certain quality, especially in pressing. This is known. Um, we should have tried more to build up um, along our yeah, defensive line, trying to pass their defensive line. I don't think that we showed insecureness. I think we could have dribbled a little bit more, showed more risk, not playing so many passes, combination play. But um, yeah, we had two or three chances where we showed a good plays and um yeah we showed some good runs and it was not the first starting 11 um that played here but i don't think that we made too many mistakes playing them or giving away too many balls i think we showed good duels um and uh, yeah we especially pete saved one or two also good occasions by them so uh, i don't think uh, and not one part of the team that any nervousness was uh, or could be seen. Yeah, thank you very much for the chance. I'm from the Hungarian Sport 365.hu. Um, I've got two short questions. Uh, first of all, what do you think about uh, your team's management's decision to bringing the home team here to Budapest? And what do you think about the Puskás Arena and the whole facility? And secondly, most of the Hungarian supporters would like to know what the reason was to leave uh, Willy Orban on the bench. Uh, we'll start with the second question. Um, it was not a decision against Willy. It was a decision uh, uh, for Nordi and uh, for Lukas Klostermann. Um, we knew that um, the defense, when we have uh, our own ball possession, is very important. And perhaps we will have a lot of space behind our defense line. And uh, then we knew that the Nordi and, and Klosti are very fast players who can defend uh, big spaces a bit easier than Willy. Uh, if this, the field is uh, close and we have not that many space behind the defense line, Willy is brilliant. And uh, after the substitution, uh, you saw it by yourself that uh, Willy did it very well. Um, it's always hard to, to make decisions uh, as a manager. It's always hard to make decisions um, when you talk, talk about Willy because he's a very professional player. Um, great player who always want to win and uh, he did well after yeah, I bring him in into the game and the first question as I mentioned it's a brilliant stadium uh, brilliant a beautiful city I uh, did not see that much of the city because we only can stay in our hotel but um, was brilliant pitch was not the reason uh, why we lose today 
Um, I'm happy that we could play our game. Uh, it was important for us to play the, the Champions League game. And the decision to go to Budapest uh, was brilliant because uh, all the facilities are brilliant and they were happy with all. Oliver Hartmann from Kicker. Yeah, ja, Nagels mal an den, dann die Frage von Tom Bachmann. Uh, Jürgen Klopp sagte gerade. So Jürgen Klopp just said that Liverpool um, deservedly won the match because they forced you into doing this uh, these mistakes. Do you think the same? There was the pressure of Liverpool forcing you into those mistakes, or what do you think? Well, when you win, or in, if you if you win, you always right. In Champions League, uh, we committed uh, some of those mistakes uh, already against Paris, against Lyon last season, this year against uh, Manchester. We just uh, commit too many mistakes uh, of those. Um, and uh, I didn't see a huge pressure in the first action, the first goal that we conceded. Um, there was no pressure or high pressure by Thiago and um, Mane. The same on Nordi Mukiele. There was not too much pressure on him. So it was a long ball from our opponents. Uh, we were in a good position. We just uh, should have let the ball go and uh, was an action by Mukiele that wasn't really necessary. At the end, the opponent is right and not me. So, and I can only hope that we don't commit those mistakes in the return leg. The return leg. What did you say to your lads uh, after the game? Well, I think that uh, we created a lot of respect in front of our opponents. I guess they had respect uh, for us already before, but now even more. And um, so I didn't uh, hear anything about the deserved victory for Liverpool. It came because of the mistakes that we committed. They hurt. Of course, nobody commits such mistakes or wants to commit such mistakes. We need to then, on the other hand, also take more advantage of our chances that we created, be more clinical, get more chances, create more chances, and as I said, just be more clinical and to show as we have been doing in the Bundesliga, create the chances and convert them. I'm a coach and uh, that's why I don't talk too much about mistakes, um, but how to prevent them and not commit such mistakes. And so, uh, yeah, we're always working on, of course, being more clinical, being creative, creating more chances. And this is how we will approach the next uh, or the return leg. So uh, our job will be then to convert those chances into goals. So thank you very much, Julian, and uh, good night to everybody. Bye bye.